In our video, we show how to install Bfoldo and save some small sp space in the kitchen. We have a small distance between the table and cupboard door, you see, and we have no chance to put a chair from the left. We just keep one chair from the right. And even in this case, we have not enough room between the chair and table and we have to pull it out sometimes to sit at the table, you see. Now we have not enough room between the leg and table. And table overlaps the door and you couldn't close the cupboard door. We come up some sort of solution by installing folding door and now we could close and open the cupboard door and keep the chairs from the left. Turn it around. This is a nice chair. Have a light weight and good quality. And you see enough space from the right. This is our default door. It has two size, sides. This is a size of default door. Both sides uh, are joined with uh, hinges that creates a uh, some gap between the sides and it looks not so nice and we would like to remove this gap by creating a slot under the hinges. We just cut some small amount of wood under the hinges using chisel. And now hinges attached to the wood and it didn't stick out. And now we have a small gap between two sides of the door. This door is designed to fit in the frame without rebate, but our frame has a rebate, some sort of stoppers. In this case, uh, you couldn't close the door because uh, it uh, would interfere with the corners of stoppers. And uh, now we have to remove some corners from the left a little bit, uh, more from the right. We use a chisel and bench. You see, we remove a corner a little bit. And now we could open the door. You see this gap, small gap. This is a metal trail uh, that attached to the frame. You could push the top pivot and open the door. This is top pivot, could be adjusted and change the position of the fittings. And the same odd situation with the bottom pivot, you could lift up the door and remove it or adjust position of the door. As the door has a smaller size than frame, uh, you have a gap between a frame uh, and a door and you could use floor outskirts which have the same size as the frame and uh, remove visually the gap between the door and frames. But in this case you have to do some extra work to remove this visual gap between the door and frames. And this is a gap between bottom size and floor and upper size. We could remove this gap uh, by inserting some solid bar between frame and metal trail or attach a solid bar to the bottom of the door. We choose this solution because we have a two similar door nearby and we want to comply with symmetry. 
them to attach the bar we remove bottom pivot don't pull it deeper otherwise you couldn't remove it you see we attached now the bar we just cut the same size and reach remove the pivot you see the holes for the pivot and now we attach the bar and we are going to create holes that we use to join bar and the door we use a drill don't forget to make uh, holes into the bar wider than holes into the in, into the door you see we use a screw and this screw should go through freely and this hole is smaller and then we widen the holes to cover the screw into the bar we use PVA glue to attach our bar spread the glue over the surface of the bar and then attach it to the door and screw it I will use polypilla to remove a uh, visible gap between uh, the bar we use it to fill the gap and then make it smoother and the same we do with the holes from the bottom and then we have to create a holes for the pivot in our new attached bar uh, we sanded the surface because we are going to paint it later and now uh, when i choose uh, which of the bar take into account the size of these fittings you see and our bar have a size about two and a half centimeters this is a handle manufacturer suggested us to attach handle from the left if you but uh, it's better to use uh, to attach handle close to the middle because you open the door in this direction and if you attach the handle close to the edge you couldn't properly open the door because this is before door not like usual door uh, door has empty space inside and don't forget about it when you attached and screw the handle this size of our position for handle is this door pretty robust in comparison with uh, plastic default door and now our door hasn't uh, painted yet and you could remove this door pretty easy like this and then paint it you see that's it